Let's go! It's another spring practice breakdown here on PHL. Of course, presented by our friends at the Presley Collection and PresleyCollection.com. We have so much footage to get through here as John Emery runs through quite a bit of practice players and don't forget our guy jack best he was on the channel it is linked down below we have it chaptered out so you can see jack talk about pretty much everything regarding lsu football and right off the jump here this is obviously really good mike dembrock high energy guy jack talked about how much he loved dembrock and look the backwards hat you gotta love it brad davis alongside brian kelly here and look these uh, are, are some very important evaluation periods right here for LSU. So now we actually see some footage here. So number 12 is Arkansas transfer Greg Brooks. And you can see here, uh, Cam Wire here at left tackle. And we're actually just running drills right here. Uh, that was Savian Jones going head up against... Uh, uh, Cam Wire right there. And then, of course, once again, you get this completion here to Jack Mashburn. So now we move along here, and we're actually going to spend quite a bit of time on this clip right here. I feel this clip can actually show us what the defensive line might look like next year. And there's a lot of really key observations to notice in this clip in particular. So this is what your starting or at least rotational defensive line can look like next year. We have Mason Smith right here and what looks to be the inside shoulder of the guard in a one technique. It just depends on how you number it. It looks as if Jaqueline Roy is in a three and Quincy Wiggins here getting some run with what looks to be a first-ish unit. Uh, Quincy Wiggins, a true freshman. And standing up here, uh, my guy Jason, a big supporter of the channel, he is a huge believer in Xavier Carter, who was uh, a player out of Marietta who Ed Orgeron liked a lot. He started to play more towards the end of the year, and he's heading into his true sophomore season. As you can see, he is built more like a wide receiver. He is a very slender player in, in the mold of Amingo. And what they're looking at with Carter is can we trust him to play that backup outside linebacker role, which to me is the most crucial role in a Matt House defense, okay? So take B.J. Ojolari, who more than likely is going to be the starter in this role. You, you got to have more than one. What if Ojolari goes down? Maybe that person is Harold Perkins. We don't know. Uh, that was a position that Harold did play a lot in high school. So this is obviously very key for the staff to get a good evaluation on Xavier Carter. And you see who he's going up against here. It's Will Campbell. Okay, so on this snap right here, we don't actually get to see a Xavier Carter versus Will Campbell rep as Xavier Carter actually backs out into coverage. So now let's actually slow down this footage here and break down what exactly is happening. It's a little bit tough to see what the specific alignments are here with the, uh, the, the defensive line, but what we do know is we have at center Fitzgerald West, so you not only have one true freshman, you also have another one here in the highly anticipated debut of Will Campbell during the spring. Now you see Matt House back here, and you see he's pretty much locked in on Xavier Carter, and you're going to see it right here. So Mason Smith, look at how low him and Jaqueline Roy are firing off. This is just really good stuff right here by Mason. He's going up against Tremont Shorts to transfer, and as you can see, Mason is jacking this guy up really bad you can't really do this any better but what actually happens here is as Fitzgerald West moves to the second level he's going to trust this guard to block Jaqueline Roy what happens though is Jaqueline Roy destroys this guard it looks to be Kimo McAneoli and he gets thrown to the ground and he's essentially holding him so this is a pretty blatant hold um Good little push-pull technique right here. You wait for him to lean, and then you just pull him to the ground. Um, and uh, I wish I could do that move when I was a defensive tackle. I'm just not Jacqueline and Roy because uh, I wasn't strong. Uh, and you can see that's just, that's just bad holding. But what happens here, and this is what scares coaches during these 11-on-11 drills, even though Mason Smith is fending off this guy and about to make a tackle, because McAneoli gets dominated so bad, Mason actually gets folded up on 
right here, okay? So this is why you don't want to go to full speed during this time because you can see uh this happening and it could obviously you know i mean mason smith's probably worth a victory next year for lsu he's that special of a talent and as you can see here this is actually Derek davis jr he doesn't actually bring uh trey bradford down to the ground because the players aren't really in full pads uh and, and it's not a tackling drill where you bring people down but as you can see a lot of players wearing these thick knee braces these can go anywhere from 400 to 900 dollars a pop and thankfully mason had those on to protect from those types of injuries but as you can see there quincy wiggins was also on the rep so let's see how quincy did on this rep right here boom i'm looking at you yes you this is so much fun doing these spring practice uh footage film studies obviously it goes a long way when you subscribe and ring the bell and before we show you this quincy wiggins clip i want to show you how many recruits and guests and friends of the program show up to each and every practice it, it, it really is amazing now this is very fascinating okay it's kind of hard to see from this angle where each one of these three defensive linemen are lined up, like we just mentioned. But what's really interesting here is Quinty Wiggins is in a four-point stance, and it looks as if he's on the outside shoulder of Cole Taylor, the tight end. There's Miles Frazier right here, and then, of course, Jaquillan Roy going up against Kimo McAneoli, and you see the center right here, uh, Fitzgerald West. So what's very interesting is Cole Taylor actually comes to help with Miles Frazier on this double. And Cole, one thing we want to see, obviously, you know, just watching him over the past couple of years, can he become a better blocker in the running game? So right here, obviously, you would like to get a little bit bigger of a piece uh, of this guy, but once again, they're not going full speed. But it's good to see Cole Taylor working on that blocking technique, and he gets to the second level here on West Weeks. But you see here, Quincy Wiggins kind of catches the block. He doesn't necessarily attack Miles Frazier right here. And you see he just kind of tentatively just catches it. And Miles Frazier has his pad level dominated right here. And you see a few other things here. Miles Frazier has Quincy Wiggins just in complete lockdown mode. And Wiggins also at the same time, his hands begin to slip and we got a hand in the face mask right here, which would be a pretty huge penalty in uh, the spot. But still, you know, you could just see the freak athleticism this guy has. Even though Miles Frazier was able to get his hands uh, inside his shoulder pads, he was still able to fend off of it and, and get wide and almost make this tackle here. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, this is the same Quincy Wiggins who had that freak accident at the, uh, the, the the bowl game. So just the fact that he's even playing right now lets you know what type of athlete he is. One final little observation on this play. If you guys really like this true freshman class, I want you to see here Will Campbell. So he sees that his guy is uh, just backing off. And whenever a play is going off to the outside, a lot of offensive linemen just conserve their energy and it's like okay the play is going over here my guy backed out i'm not gonna go find someone but i want you to see will campbell is looking for someone to block he sees nobody and then he works backside to the guy who initially dropped off and hustles downfield and still gets a piece of him and look at fitzgerald west hustling down here that is just some really good stuff from three really talented true freshmen so, yeah, it's hard not to be excited about uh, Quincy Wiggins and Will Campbell. Both of them are going to play a lot, I, b I believe, next year. Um, I could easily see Wiggins with his athleticism getting in that defensive line rotation pretty quickly. And obviously, if LSU can't find a tackle, depending on what's going to happen here with Tyler Steen, um, Will Campbell is definitely going to play next year. Uh, now, as far as Fitzgerald West, probably more of a year or two. But even then, you know, uh, center is one of the big question marks about this team. So you saw in the background here uh, some good footage from the Collada show, uh, a good throw right there from Garrett Nussmeyer to Jack Besh. But on this very next throw, you do see Garrett Nussmeyer throwing an interception. A few of you have, have talked about this play. Uh, you see uh, Joe Fusha back here at safety. You have West Weeks at linebacker. 
He's coming on a a, a blitz here. But I want to just point out that these are walk-on wide receivers running these routes. And this is Francione. I believe this is just a normal slant route. Once again, it's just tough to see uh, from, from this angle. And that hit him right in the hands. Uh, and good ball skills uh, by... God, that is some excellent ball skills, actually. I mean, this ball ricocheted very strangely. And he just kind of he just kind of took it. That's where the ball is. And it it went straight through Francione. I think Brooks just kind of grabbed it from him. Uh excellent, excellent play right there. So that's not really on us. So yeah, some really good stuff there. Uh, keep this in mind, though. I don't know the play calls. This is a brand new coaching staff. Everything in this uh, these breakdowns are my best educated guesses. But as you can see, uh, with all the new blood out there, once again, not only true freshmen, but transfers, it really pushes uh, a lot of these guys uh, that have been on the team for a while to really work for their uh, for their snaps. Here's a guy right here in Philip Webb, and I want you to just see who all is on the field. Kyron Lacey, transfer. Uh, Kobe Fields, transfer. Fuchsia, transfer. Weeks, transfer. Uh, so, yeah, and then Brooks, who just made the play, transfer as well. So it, it, it's just very competitive right now, and I, I just like that. I'm, I'm loving the energy just from what I've seen, just from people that are actually at the practices that I talk to. They're, they're just talking about just how excited everyone is to, to get this ball rolling. So that's why we enjoy doing these practice breakdowns with you. So once again, thanks to our friends at the Pressy Collection, PressyCollection.com. Uh, it's John Emery, Bobs, and Weaves here in the background. Uh, man, I, I'm so excited about Quincy Wiggins, man. Once Jamar Kane gets this guy going, woo, let's go. Tyson Jackson, man, it's it's crazy. I think he could be better than Tyson. Uh, but yeah, it is power out LSU boom. And tonight we're doing salmon. Let's go. <laughs>